Hey guys and gals, it's June 30th. I wanted to talk much more candidly in this vlog. It's Friday. I just published some content yesterday and I'm aware that I was very, I don't know what you could say, uh, absorbed? Is that the word? I'm aware and it turns some people off. How can this guy be so arrogant and narcissistic to put himself front and center on camera and proclaim such bizarre things that are rooted in science and data? Clearly there are a subset of people who understand my content and I'll just cut right to the chase and say that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, I'm just filming it the way I film it. You know, how else do you get on camera and talk about the destruction of our habitat in real time? And making it legible, making it palliable for, palatable for the layman person. That's what I do. I synthesize the information. And yeah, I'm not apologizing. I just know when I wake up and I see my subscriber count go down a few numbers, I'm like, ah, yeah, people are really kind of full of shit and to be frank most people annoy the shit out of me so I can only imagine how it comes across to them on their end uh, on YouTube in this space just mouthing off bullshit ignorant people delusional denial techno hopium will grow algae and feed ourselves bullshit you know just stupidity trying to compete with someone who's well way well more versed in this space in this topic, including all of my subscribers, which are, I mean, the sum total of intelligence about the subject of abrupt and irreversible climate change and, you know, species loss, habitat loss, power failure, global co economic collapse, like, all of you guys' combined intelligence basically make up, like, a high society council. Like, we should be fucking consulted at this point. You know, companies, if they had any sense of self-preservation would should be like reaching out to climate activists you know that'd be nasty but you know slimy but you know how should we make decisions if we wanted to preserve uh the future which we have no intentions to it is uh all about reaping profits now speaking of profits i could get into today's economic update i'll just post a link below basically what you need to know is the wands falling and the price of a high dollar currency like we have value is obviously felt in cost of living here and abroad in the UK people are counterfeiting money at a at a record rate um, getting arrested I saw this picture of this you know muscular looking guy get arrested it's like ha huh? stupid ass can lift heavy weights but not make smart or wise decisions um, so, yeah, a bunch of things in the economic space like deflationary uh, caution and warnings. Just, it's a giant Ponzi house of cards scheme just held up by debt. Doesn't even matter, okay? Um, at this point, you're paddling upstream. I mean, I have a neighbor I just met for the first time this past week, young couple. 32, so they're two years younger than me, and they both work full time, just trying to pay off their mortgage. And they, and they even wonder, like, how do we? Even, they have no kids, and they're like, I, we don't know how people get by or with kids. Like, how do you do it? Most people don't. That's why they're taking out record, you know, amount of credit card debt and and all that. I, I've I've re deduced my life to living much more uh, stoic, um, not stoic. What's that? Esoteric, uh, you know, minimalist. Again, I'm not my I'm rich inner world and there's that's what matters. And there's a quote that really encapsulates this is like I'm paraphrasing but one who plants trees knowing that they won't see or won't one who plants trees knowing that they won't be able to sit in their shade has f started to finally s get or understand the meaning of life. And just expanding on that 
absolutely. I've gotten to a point where I don't give a f. Look, I, I, I come across, you know, abrasive or forward, like I'm self-centered, but that can be further further from the truth. You ask anybody who's around my presence, I, I'll take off my shirt, sandals, and give you $5, okay? Fuck the shirt. Help a brother out. That's me. I'm very self-sacrificing. Um, the camera is just a space I can get on here and virtuously at least an attempt, Ex try to explain this shit away because it's a real existential concern, real crisis in our life. And I've done so the past several years. So to backtrack, a lot of people annoy me. I understand why they don't subscribe. This is a community. Either you understand that we are in abrupt, either you understand the concept of overshoot. I agree with Dow. There are people who understand that uh, we are over consuming and over, over capacity of Earth's regenerative capacity. We're using more resources and those that don't and those that don't are in this all kinds of delusional headspace where when you try to approach or converse with them it's like you're it's like you're talking to a different you know different language basically am i insecure about my subscriber count no i'm perfectly content with a thousand over a thousand subs uh, if i get to 1.2 like that, that's cool like i said you can't you gotta have a you can't let when your intention is to Describe reality, okay? How do you grow a channel where you talk about... People ask me what my channel's about. Reality. That's not... That's too harsh. Reality itself is too harsh for some people. Better to... You know, especially if you have children. I'm certain many of my subscribers don't have children. There are some that do... And I know you do, but if you had a choice, you know, now, people my age, no. Anyways, okay, so the air quality is still pretty bad. It's supposed to clear out. I know Washington, D.C. and New York City had the worst air quality in the world today. Uh, is this not a bad sign of omen, you know, omen of things to come? And yet I see people golf when the air quality was like over around 200. It was awful. It was like sticking your face in a, you know, in a fireplace. Uh, there were people out golfing. Fucking families with their kids playing baseball still. I just wanted to get out of my car. Like so many things I could say wrong to that. Like, you know, how dare you bring these kids outside to a game where they're physically exhausting themselves in a, for a sports game, for a baseball game, risk your, lo like, health. And then also, like, kids, your parents are lying to you. You have no damn future. Anyways, I'm not apologizing for anything. I, I, re I resist the temptation to, um, ex you know, explode on P It has no use. Absolutely zero zero you know people aren't changing their ways i know i watch all the other channels too it's like psh, i know that by now and and i don't take shit on my channel let me get back to that you know when you put yourself out there like like i'm doing and talking about reality i'm forfeiting so much you know i'm sacrificing myself to talk about reality because this is this is a calling it's a purpose could i could I instead, in, you know, this is existentialism and dating. It's a, it's, it's a mind fuck. Cause it's like, you can easily put picture yourself. Oh, I could be working at an architectural firm and have some hot ass wife with, you know, two kids or whatever and living in la la land. No, I'm doing, I'm telling the truth about the last human exist chapter in our fucking existence. Okay. I took U.S. history. All right, world history in college, European history. Not, yeah, dude. And you're telling me, like, we'll live past 2040? No. Nope. Okay, I'm going off on a tangent. You know, I respect... Uh, one more thing, someone called me homosexual. I, I take no... Why I said all that is because I don't take fucking bullshit from anybody at this point. Getting a little abrasive here. Like, ego, fear, reject... No. It's just boundaries. I'm setting boundaries. That's what I'm doing. Someone called me homosexual. Uh, the Green Zeno, longtime subscriber, out. 
No, no reason. No reason to come on my channel and patronize me. At all. You're done. Self-restraint. Exercise existence. Politeness. It's purposeless. I don't care how smart you are. Don't exhibit... It's like... Psychosis. It says what it is you're tuning out a reality and just writing whatever you want on my channel. Same with Deep Profit and these other people, older people mostly. Shut the fuck up. You get on camera and talk about this shit, okay? And you very quickly see you wouldn't take shit from nobody. Zero. All right, I'm not getting aggressive. I know that's not attractive on camera, but I want to be certain about that every once in a while. Like, no, get fucking real, okay? Calm down. Um, we're in the beginning stages of the collapse. I have fun with this channel. Um, yeah, I hope to s get a girlfriend and smash a few more times before, you know, make romance and love before we don't have the capability to anymore. That's exciting. I look, that's, come on, guys. Come on, dude, dude bros. You know, you just want a cool, chill, not emotionally, you know, abrasive and damaged. You know, you just want a, a nice, comfortable, chill woman. Doesn't even have to do with laundry or anything. Just, okay? But I've realized past 20s, like, it's now game over. They're looking for power and prestige at this point in their 30s. Or Andrew Tate. <laughs> There's an article in Dallas uh, Morning News like how to tell if you're someone you're dating is into Andrew Tate. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, don't give a f. Do your own thing. Your existence. One who you know that phrase again. The person who does plants trees, not knowing that they won't sit in their shade, has started to understand the meaning of life. That it isn't about you. Okay, it isn't about your fucking power and prestige and how much money you make and you'll never be fucking happy. You know, how much stuff and how much praise you get from people, notoriety, fuck all of that. The only notoriety is yourself, period. I can testify. Which is what I'm doing. Okay, this has been my vlog, June 30th. I enjoy you guys. The people that come here understand you're with me. That's why you stay subscribed. I put out a poll. And... I want to do a video, if you're familiar with Dunkey, video game Dunkey, uh, in his format where I put pictures and talk over it. And also, all of you have seen Doctor Strange. I'm going to watch that with my roommate because uh, you call me the wizard and 99.9% .9 of people who call me the wizard have probably seen a wizard movie or two. Anyways, was that exciting? Look, the world's a shit show. Uh, what else do I say? You know, we're toast. Okay? Love you folks. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.